Everybody at Mountaineer Field was looking for a Mountaineer route, but Northern Illinois wouldn't cooperate early. The Huskies got on the board first on quarterback Marshall Taylor's two-yard run. The Mountaineers moved it up and down the field, but didn't get on the board until the first play of the second quarter. Mike Timko to John Talley for 22 yards and the touchdown. It's tied at seven, and the fans figure the route's on now. Not yet, though. Taylor, only 5'8 and 180, took it in again, this time from the 10, and WVU trailed. Turns out the defense was having trouble adjusting to the wishbone. We don't never see that hardly. That's probably the only team we'll play all year that runs the, op the option. And it just takes a little while for a defense to get used to a, 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 a veer attack like that. It just takes a little while, but I thought our defense got stronger as we went. The Mountaineers pulled even again with three minutes to go in the half. John Hollifield, who had started the drive with a 34-yard run, goes 33 for the touchdown, and it was tied. By halftime, it was all but over. On the third play after the kickoff, David Lockwood came up with this spectacular juggling interception. Three plays later, Hollifield had his second touchdown of the game. Then Northern Illinois self-destructed. In the final minute, the Mountaineers get a safety and a field goal, and boom, 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 just like that, it's 26-14 at halftime. In the end, it was a round after all, 47-14. All in all, not a bad opener. I was happy with it. I don't think it was a solid performance overall, but we can be a lot better. Shaky start notwithstanding, WVU is off and running. Next week, it's East Carolina. From Morgantown, I'm Terry Bumgarner, TV 13 Action Sports.